So the automotive manufacturing landscape is changing. It's in a period of flux. Uh, manufacturers are transitioning from creating internal combustion engines to hybrid technologies to full battery electric vehicles. Uh, what this means is that there's high amounts of competition um, and the design, the new designs, are just the start. You have to be able to productionize and mass produce these efficiently. So the winners are those with a good design that can put that design into a process which manufactures it efficiently and takes advantage of new technologies to drive those efficiencies. So automotive manufacturers who are on the journey from an internal combustion engine to a hybrid to a full electric vehicle have several challenges. Um, I think probably one of the most obvious is product life cycles are shortening. Whereas an internal combustion engine might have lasted five or eight years before it was replaced, more modern designs have a, have a much shorter lifespan. And what that means to a production environment is that to be efficient, it has to be flexible. You can't simply throw away all of the tooling and equipment and the knowledge and then bring in some, some new equipment and be efficient. So designing your new production processes with future-proof technologies in mind being able to reprogram existing equipment and reuse it is going to become very, very important. So Renishaw has been supporting the automotive industry for decades now. A great example of where we would be able to help manufacturers with these new types of technology would be in interim and final inspection. So typically these checks use coordinate measuring machines to carry this, these measurements out and they're large capital pieces of equipment. Much like people's mobile phones have now evolved into a multifunctional device, the CMM's going down a similar route. Maybe not quite to the same level, but um, along the same lines, where not only would you halve inspection cycle times by using five-axis inspection, but you would then put additional measurements into the same automated program process. A good example is surface finish inspection. So you're taking what used to be two processes and collapsing them down into one single automated process and efficiency changes are then coming from that. It's no longer good enough to capture rogue components at the end of the production line. Um, by the time they get there, they're expensive. It's, uh, with EV components and assemblies, they're very expensive. And it could just be one single component that renders the whole assembly scrap. So what we're, we're looking towards is a, a flexible process um, called an equator gauge, which we'd be put in as an interim check. And that interim check would not only look at the size of the component and give feedback on that, but it would alter the upstream process and feed back the upstream process to give you a much smarter controlled process and therefore a better um, yield from that process. So batteries have often been talked about as the defining component in a battery electric vehicle. They're certainly one of the largest components. They're at the moment um, the dominant expense in a battery electric vehicle. So technologies that can reduce that or get efficiencies from the battery are very important and there's a lot of research money going into that. So our Raman spectroscopy looks at battery chemistry and not just battery chemistry in a static mode but when the battery is being charged in real time or discharged in real time and the effects on the chemistry and the efficiency and the life of the battery. So if what we've talked about today has been interesting to you and you want to keep up to date with the latest innovations from Renishaw in the automotive industry, then hit subscribe or go to renishaw.com forward slash automotive.